decisiveness, the power to move forward courageously and authentically with deep meaning and feeling. These qualities are in us, but do not simply show up fully developed. They must be earned and embodied so we can stand on our own two feet and know how we got there. No one can take away what we have owned, earned, and embodied. Your yoga practice is the perfect vehicle for just such development. Physically, we are challenged to press into discomfort and grow stronger. Mentally, we are challenged to discipline and focus a distractible and agitated mind. These are a part of every good yoga class, but they are not sufficient for full embodiment. To experience the full promise of yoga, we must embrace the last place we want to go. What happens when the heart calls an emotional experience arises in our practice? Can we welcome it? Do we know what to do with it? Or do we start to feel a touch of embarrassment and self-judgment? Do we redouble our focus on our breath to rid ourselves of the nuisance? Perhaps we try to drown the discomfort with positive affirmations. Maybe we think to ourselves, yoga is supposed to feel good. So why am I feeling something so uncomfortable? Is this a mistake? In what light do we see the emotional aspect of our practice and our life? How do we treat this part of ourselves? This is really important because the true fuel source of decisiveness, the power to move forward in your life with courage and authenticity, with deep meaning and purpose, is the emotional body. In this workshop, I intend to leave you with these five things. Number one, your emotions are healthy, natural, and key to your well-being and life success. Number two, an understanding of your emotions and how to work with them on the mat and in your life. Number three, at least four pieces of brain science you can use to start to interact with and integrate your emotional body. Number four, a warm, safe, conscious experience of contacting your emotional body. This is how we develop self-love and emotional resilience. Number five, why everything you really want to change in your life depends on your relationship with your emotions and your skill at feeling them. Decisiveness, the power to move forward courageously and authentically with deep meaning and purpose. Your yoga practice can and will take you there.